I think we're ready for the CAG bag. Yeah, I think so. If, you have, if you're in the chat and you have any CAG bag questions, now's the time to drop them. Uh, this question is from Migo Zero, and I alluded to this earlier. He says, all these games are currently on sale. Which will look the best on my new Series X? Borderlands 3, Yakuza 7, or Immortals Phoenix Rising? Those games are so different. But we can we have to answer the question. It's our job. Well, I've only seen Phoenix Rising. I guess I could. I have Borderlands Three. I just don't know how it looks. How good could Borderlands Three look? I'm not. It could look just as good, if not better, than Phoenix Rising. Phoenix how Rising is, is. These are all expensive. bad choices. The answer to this question is Warzone. The answer to this question is buy Yakuza Seven because that's the best game in the slot. But that's, he's not asking what the See, best but game I would, is. I don't know. I yeah. I mean. He's looking for graphical this, if this powerhouses. this person is into that. He's not going to find what he's looking for from either of any of these any games. Of these, none of these games are graphical powerhouses. I think... The chat Yakuza, says Gears 5. Yakuza is the most interesting of the three games. He's not looking for interesting. He wants a showpiece for if his If you're not looking box. for interested, may I suggest Immortals Phoenix Rising. <laughs> Yeah, even mean, the, yeah. Hmm. yeah. What's the? I, I'm trying to think. What's the best? Well, Assassin's Creed is probably the best looking. Assassin's Creed Valhalla game. is a very good looking game. Um, Warzone looks really good, even though it's not actually an optimized Series X game. But uh, yeah, this, like I said, yeah. there's not a lot of options right now. <clears throat> you got ray tracing in Fortnite. There you go. You can see your reflection when you run past those windows. Horizon 4 looks real good. Also pointed out in the chat. Um, Codename Rook writes in and says, any idea what Phil Harrison might have meant when he said Microsoft's acquisition of ZeniMax was one of the prompting factors in Stadia Studios shutdown? I can't imagine what one thing would have to do with the other. Maybe they were banking on Bethesda games helping sell Stadias? I don't know. But now they're not coming to Stadia, so oh well, that could be that's that well they could it's... like maybe they had planned on it, and they thought, hey, once that new uh, <laughs> once that new Fallout comes out, Stadias are gonna fly off the shelves. That's gonna be the one. That's the game we're waiting for. Nothing else is gonna do it. But once the new Fallout comes out, or what does whatever, that have to do with their internal studio? I, so because they won't sell enough boxes, or they don't even sell boxes subscriptions. Who knows what? What are they selling over there? I don't know. It's a. Uh, it sounds like someone grasping at straws. Right, right. He's uh he's passing the buck. It's it's his fault probably. Yeah. Why not look inside? As one. Yeah, I'm having trouble connecting the dots on that one. Yeah. At all. Let's not blame outside forces. As one tall, bald man to another, let's just take the blame ourselves. I mean, I guess they're maybe they're thinking like xCloud stuff. They're trying to compare xCloud to Stadia somehow, where xCloud is this thing that is kind oh. of like off. Oh, the that's side their competition. That's why people aren't buying it. They're waiting for xCloud. I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway, you can't. It's, it's that's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, Gaming Dad writes in. And says, I've been playing a lot of long story heavy Japanese games lately, and I'm having an issue keeping the name straight. Is it me or a cultural thing? Love the show. Shipwreck? Way to be racist. Do you have a problem? You play these games. Do you remember um, Taro from, I don't know, <laughs> Tai from Kai? Um, it. I don't have it that big on the, on the, uh, Japanese games for the most part, as long as the characters are distinctive enough, like there's some personality trait, I can keep them, keep them straight. I do like have trouble, like remembering, like if somebody told me like, Hey, go see Lubu. Wait a minute. Here's the, here's the question. Name the yeah. main characters in Yakuza. Uh, okay. You have Ichiban. Right. You've got, it's been a couple of weeks since I played this game. It's okay, but you put point. like eighty hours at least. I did. Yeah. Uh, you've got Namba. Yeah. Uh, you've got Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> uh, Luku. 
it's got oh, a little man. I'm, for, I'm forgetting the police officer's name yeah, yeah. currently I can't but i I, w- I would know all of their like if you told me their it's names hard. I'd be able, it's like, hard See, i'd be able hard. to identify them but we've proved that it's hard you, you're it not is. alone like it if it's a foreign language and those and it's difficult for that name to click with you right away like it doesn't matter whether it's japanese or norwegian or whatever it is right away or 80 hours later you know Oh, I, I knew who all the characters were in that when I was playing it. You well, could right, you could right, have told right. me a character name and I would have known sure, of course. who I was supposed to go see. Well, they all have, you know, unique personalities and Right. That's they, the key. If yeah. if they have unique personalities, if it's just like guy in a spacesuit, <laughs> like yeah, I'm not gonna right. remember that guy's name. Right. Uh that's why uh that's why all those characters in uh <laughs> in that delivery game are named after what they do. What's that game called again? Dead Stranding? John Wind? De- De- Death Stranding, right? <laughs> Death Stranding, what did I say? Yeah, Dead Stranding. Same it's, shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, Carlos writes in, he says, what are your thoughts on games as a service right now? I'm hooked on FIFA and even bought like $10 in packs and felt dirty afterwards. Yeah, that's the whole, that's why that game is on there. Because they know that people will download it for free and there, there's $10 well, for fi- them. Well, I guess is FIFA free? FIFA's not free. It's on, uh, well, it's on EA, whatever. It's a part of Game Pass. Is the new one on EA Access? 10 hours worth is. Yeah, but that's, I wouldn't spend $10 on packs for a game that I only have $10 to the, 10 hours on. One of them's on there. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them on there, but I'm assuming he means the most recent one. He's hooked. It works. He's hooked. I mean, this, here's how I feel about game games as service, generally speaking. Uh, if the game itself is a quality game and you're getting enjoyment out of it and if spending $10 on it doesn't hurt you in any way financially in the long run, Mm -hmm. then enjoy the happiness that you're getting at this moment. If, if there's a problem, like you're spending too more than you can afford, then there's a problem and that's not necessarily the game's fault, but as long as you're enjoying what you're doing and the game itself is a quality game at, games as service then you know there's nothing wrong with that i say this as someone who plays Fortnite every day and you try every game that comes do. up on game pass basically and look i even have a little Fortnite man on my microphone hello Fortnite man hi everybody it's great my name is ripley how are you doing i love games service shut up ripley very professional all right 